I got hit up to audition for Hamilton, okay? But for me, I was about to start working on a new album, and I was like, oh, you know what? I don't know if I have time to commit to a musical right now. I think I'm gonna decline. And they were like, that's fine. So then I was talking to my agent, and she was like, Tim, <laughs> get what are you doing? Get them, get them back right now and hit them back. I was like, oh, shit. All right. You can actually watch the rest of this podcast on the Down Bad Show on YouTube. Let's get a little deep. What do you think was the biggest mistake of your career? The biggest mistake of my career. You know, here's the thing, right? I feel like all mistakes are like lessons, right? So mm. I don't necessarily ever look back on anything and I'm like, yeah. Or biggest lesson, I guess. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'll I tell you what. Well, immediately when you ask me that question, something that I think of... <laughs> Uh, that uh, that I still feel like it, it, it wouldn't have worked out necessarily mm-hmm. timing wise, but so I got hit up to audition for Hamilton, okay, um, and this was before I even knew the what, play, the the, the, the musical, play, right? the yeah, Broadway yeah, yeah. musical, yeah. yeah, the the fucking huge musical, right? right? And somebody from Hamilton casting hit me up years ago, and they were like, "Yo, we're interested in Tim auditioning for Hamilton musical," and I was like. Um, because I guess they were about to extend to like uh, do LA and mm-hmm. like just go on tour and shit like that, right? And I had never heard of it, right? And um, and and that, and I wasn't and, and it would have been great because like uh, I did musicals in high school and mm-hmm. shit. It's like I like musicals, and but for me, I was about to start working on a new album, and I was like, oh, you know what? I don't know if I have time to commit to a musical mm-hmm. right now. Um, I think I'm gonna decline, and they were like, that's fine, right? Wow. Cool. So then I, I was talking to my agent. And um, I was going. I was supposed to go to New York for something. And my agent was like, "Oh, you know what we should do? We should get you tickets to watch Hamilton." And I'm like, "What is that?" And she was like, "Oh, it's this hugely popular musical right now. Uh, they're rapping. It's like people can't get tickets for like months. It's sold out." I was like, "Oh, all right. Well, check this out. <laughs> they just hit me up to audition, and I said no." And she was like, "Tim, get." what are you doing get them get them back right now and hit them back i was like oh shit all right so i emailed them i'm like yo i'm so stupid you know what i'm saying um i got any more spots can i yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can, can, can i still you know what i'm saying can i still get in there they're like of course so they sent me this shit to audition i sent my audition they were like oh this is great and then they sent me um for a follow-up audition they sent me like sheet music to mm. like um audition with the music from the actual play right mm. And I didn't know how to read sheet music. I was like, all right, bet I'll just download the soundtrack and memorize it, and then audition. And then, but I didn't know who was who and what was what. And I was like, ah, and I just kind of never got around to it. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. Um, but that is something I always look back. I'm like, shit. I mean, that could have been good, but at the same time, I feel like timing wise, it wouldn't have been right. You feel mm-hmm. me? Um, but then that- you you'd be going to New York doing these plays every. I every- or, or, or unless they had me in the LA chapter of it, like on tour or whatever, uh-huh. it just would have taken up so much time. I feel like I, I, at that point in my career, I didn't have time to be doing that. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But 